Well, it's arrived. A brand new motorcycle helmet, and I'm very excited. Before I unbox it and show it to you, I was just uh, thinking to myself that in the old days, when you got a bike, you normally got the person to throw in the old helmet with it. And my very first big motorcycle, 650 Bonneville, Triumph Bonneville, and uh, it was in purple with yellow stripes or something, yellow flames. And uh, I bought it from a guy over in uh, West Sussex in, in Burgess Hill area. And this, he said, look, I've sprayed the tank this color and I've also sprayed this helmet, this open face helmet and put a couple of stickers on it. And uh, I was like really excited, I was 17. He gave me this helmet and this bike and it all matched. And uh, of course, what we learned many years later, that was, you know, spraying it with a, with goodness knows what else, what he used and putting stickers on, compromised the integrity of the helmet. But it kind of set the tone for all the helmets I got. Every time I bought a bike, they just gave me some old helmet. And it wasn't for many, many years that I finally saved up enough money to, to, to have a decent helmet. And um, I hate the whole process of buying a helmet. I, I have to say, I find it very difficult and I don't know how you, you guys feel about it, but it's, it's like you're trying on helmets. Glasses is a pain, you know, taking off the glasses, trying to put them on. And so anyway, I did buy a helmet from Touratech, which I really, really liked when I had my adventure bike. I'll show you that one to you, actually. That was, that was this one here. Really light, carbon fiber, really nice helmet. But I cannot believe it. That's already 2015. So that's like, you know, eight years old. I mean, it's incredible. It just goes so quickly time. That was a fantastic helmet. Then I bought for, when I bought the classic, the, um, the, the 350, I bought this one from, from Showy. And I've always liked Showy helmets. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's an open face, it's got a drop down visor, and I love it. On a nice sunny day, it's absolutely fantastic. What I don't like about it is when it's hailstorms, rain, and um, you know, it, it just peppers your face, even with a sort of a, a scarf around your face, it peppers your face. So it, it's not the best for that, but for summer riding, it's fantastic. The other thing is difficult, of course, you can't. Well, I'm finding it difficult to put a headphone on it, sorry, a mic on it, so I can speak into it and, um, you know, record some of the adventures that I'm going on. So I thought, right, it's time to bite the bullet. I've done a very modern thing. I'm ordering it by um, post. And uh, Urban Rider, I have to say, I've been absolutely fantastic. I only ordered this two days ago, and uh, it's arrived. It's well packaged. I've just slipped the top down. Um, and what you've got is an outer box, and normally I would moan and say, why do they put so much packaging? But this is a helmet, you know? So if, if they've done the right thing. And th then you've got the showy helmet inside. Ease that out. Yeah. Okay. Put that down. And when I spoke to them at, show, at, at the um, Urban Rider, I said, look, what's, I've never bought a, a, a helmet uh, you know, just online. And they said, well, don't worry at all. When you get the helmet, firstly measure yourself correctly, which I did, uh, and it comes out as a small borderline, but small. And they said, put the helmet on for 20 minutes and just see how you get on. So uh, I'm gonna do that. But they were very, very informative and helpful. Um, I was talking about what color to go for, and I actually went for a white helmet. And the reason I did this is that, because yeah, I've got a black helmet there. I did notice when I was uh, following my son on his motorcycle, he's got a black motorcycle with a black jacket and a black helmet. It looks very, very cool. But I did notice you can't see him so well. So I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm going to go for white. I'm going to stand out and, uh, you know, just, just make sure I'm as visible as I can be. Because I like the idea that when he's sitting on a bike, at least your helmet is moving around. At least some, there's some sort of white thing that these uh, car drivers can uh, you know, identify and think to themselves, oh, there's someone on a motorcycle, rather than just being in their own world, or worse, on their own phones. So uh, hopefully it'll make a difference, who knows? You know what car drivers are like, I won't say any more than that, but if you've been a biker, you'll know that uh, 
you tend to take your life in your hands with these car drivers. They tend to be in their own world. They, they cocoon themselves and just don't think twice, think bike at all. But anyway, I'm tiring everyone with the same brush, but you know what I mean. It's, uh, you, ha you have to drive defensively at all times, of course. But I thought this helmet might make a difference. So it's a showy. I have a showy type head, although I've got an array, which I've been using my daughter's helmet. Uh, but that's even that's now, we worked out the other day, I think it's uh, eight years, seven or eight, maybe even nine years old. So it's time for a change. Hey, what's in the box? Well, we have a really nice um, cover on the helmet. Show me on it, of course. And, well, I'll bring that one out first, just because it's so exciting, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. So it's the showy, terrible name, Glamster. And I've gone for it, as I say, in white, but apparently this is a bit of a limited edition for a, for a couple of years. So they've got the sort of red and the blue, so red, white, and blue. And I think for a classic bike, the Glamster probably looks about right. Some sort of, uh, you know, classic bike of sorts. So whether it's a, um, a Bonneville or in my case, the Royal Enfield, the, the classic 350, I think that'll look pretty cool on it. It's, um, it comes with a pin lock in the box. Gosh, it's very light actually, I have to say. And it has, let's put that down here. Some other bits and pieces. Let's have a look what we've got here. Okay, so we've got a chin guard and we've got some instructions and some other bits and pieces. I need to open that and have a look at it, but it has got the chin guard. You know, I'm not a fan of these only from that claustrophobic feeling. That's the only reason. Uh, I, I think they probably make a lot of sense. They probably dull things down a bit, but uh, I just don't like that claustrophobic feeling. I'm, I'm more of an open helmet person, or at least a lot of space in the helmet. So let's see how I get on. I'll try it. Maybe I should try it before I condemn it to the bin. Then you've got obviously the face guard, and I've gone for a... I've gone for the one they come as standard, which is a clear, and I've also gone for a smoked visor. So uh, I've never worn a smoked visor before, uh, but I know I don't ride at night anymore. Very, very, like, really, I can't even remember the last time. So it's for daytime use only, a smoked visor. And I think that will help with the sun, with the glare. And um, what it also comes with, of course, is your uh, pin lock. So you get one of these in the box, and he was telling me on the phone that obviously if you put one another one, one on the smoked and one on the clear visor, you'd have to buy another. But he said they're something like eighty pounds. So he suggested that uh, I I ride the bike, decide on which one to use first, and then put it on there if you need it. Now I've always put a pin lock on, but he said that you might find that you don't need it. Let's see. There's only one way to know, isn't it? Let's. Uh, Let's try it and see. So, it's the Shelly Glamster. It's uh, pretty cool looking. Let's try it on. I'm sure it's going to feel a little bit tight at first. I think that's natural. Take the glasses off. Let's try it on. I mean, this is a small, I am a small uh, in head size, just, uh, it's got the D-ring, which I really like. Saying that, there we go. So, there we go. Hopefully you can see it all right, and more importantly, see it on the road when I'm riding. Uh, and I'll let you know how I get on with it because it's one thing trying on a helmet just for a minute for a video but it's quite another obviously trying it on the road. But I have to say it does feel like quality. It, it really does. Showy make nice helmets. Whether you've got a showy head or a, an awry head um, or, or, you know, whatever you, works for you, these sort of top-end helmets do feel right. This one, it says it's 1,165 grams, 1,200 with the optional parts. 
It's got the red tabs for emergencies, so God forbid you have an accident, the ambulance people know that they can pull the red tabs and they can take this helmet off without any damage to your neck, which is a, a really good thing these days. Uh, so, so I like that. More importantly, I just like the fact that it's a brilliant white. It's not a dull white, it's a brilliant white uh, with a bit of design on it, if you like. So I'm quite excited by it. As I say, I'll let you know how I get on with it, because I don't think there's any... The, a lot of these things, you know, you try them on, you think, well, it's cool, and then people make decisions based on you recommending them. But the reality is you need to try them. You need to wear them. You need to use them. And I think that's the same whether it's the boots, whether it's the, the bell staff jacket I wear, or a helmet. I wouldn't recommend it to you until I've worn it for a while, and then I can say, yes, it's, it's a great helmet. So bear with me. Let me try it. It looks cool. I'm happy with it. I'll let you know how I get on and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. All about the showy Glamster and I got it from our good people at Urban Riders in London. I've never bought from them before, but I have to say two days from start to finish ordering online and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's all arrived and it's well packaged. So no complaints. Uh, go online, have a look what they offer. They've got some great stuff. You could shop till you drop on that one, for sure. Anyway, see you soon and thanks for watching.